one is um, not actually on um, an album. Well, officially, it's on an um, album I did acoustically a couple of years ago during lockdown. Um, I affectionately call it my Please Don't Tell the Rebel label album. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, as I said before, I'm not from Melbourne, um, but I moved there a number of years ago and uh, it was kind of tricky getting a gig in Melbourne, um, being new to town and having a name like Greta Zilla didn't help. People thought I was into German death metal. And, uh, I am not. <laughs> it's a fairly aggressive, non-blinky name. Um, but one of the, the venues that gave me a go, uh, the, first, the first sort of show I got was um, a little venue right behind the Queen Victoria Markets, um, a little place called The Drunken Poet. And uh, they have a night every Wednesday called Wine, Whiskey and Women, um, which is, sounds a lot more risque than it is. It's uh, really just a uh, awesome opportunity for female artists to um, play music and play their songs. And um, I played it a number of times when I first moved to town and um, I uh, always look back now and have a bit of a giggle to myself because it was really character building. Uh, <laughs> Um, so the, the bar itself is like one of those long skinny bars um, where the, the bar, it's, bar is on one side and the seats are on the other and um, you would uh, be put in the stage space. I couldn't even call it a stage, it was just the spot. And it was kind of, and by kind of I mean it was right next to the front door. And uh, you would be singing your sad songs, pouring your heart out, watching people leave all night. <laughs> Especially when the night markets were on. They would, the bar would be packed and you'd think, yes, they were here for me. And no, they were just here to get a drink until they could go and get dinner next door at the night markets. <laughs> um, and then the nights when the night markets weren't on, uh, you would watch the very few people in the, in the bar put on their jackets and leave. But they would give you this face. <laughs> halfway through song and you would also get the reasons why they were leaving halfway through the song you'd be singing sad songs and you'd hear, see someone and you go sorry I've just got to go and do work drinks with my workmates sorry sorry and you're like, so sad my heart's breaking sorry <laughs> I've just got to go and have dinner with my mum cool 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 he left me <laughs> and I always found them the most amusing nights. <laughs> it was watching people give you an excuse as they left, right like in front of you. <laughs> um, and on those nights in particular, I would find myself uh, singing to the portraits and paintings on the wall. In particular, the man that held or holds pride of place behind the bar, Mr. Nick Cave. I said Nick Cage once. I'm like, no, that's not right. <laughs> anyway, I would sing, I think one day, one day, Nick, one day. Pouring my heart out to the bar staff and faces on the wall. Whiskey and water and Guinness flowing like Niagara Falls. Taxi driver wanders out the front door, lighting up another smoke. Tonight it feels like no one cares. That's just how it goes. One day they'll come see me play. Maybe they'll listen to what I've got to say when I move from the shadows of this small place so away to a big stage one day Ooh. Well, I can't take it personal everybody's got places to go three minutes of my songs are too long for some I know they're thinking about another drink and whatever Getting home in traffic. I'm 
this dream of mine. One day they'll come see me play. Maybe they'll listen to what I've got to say when I move from the shadows of this small place all the way to a big stage one day. Stay.